And finally, Martin Fitzwater has returned to bodybuilding as he enters the Detroit Pro, but he will be challenged by Gurvido and Justin Rodriguez as they fight for the Olympia qualification and the $25,000 at the Detroit Pro. Join AJ and Mr. Arnold Classic, Samson Dauda, in this episode on the Fuad Abiad Media Channel. Welcome everyone to the Fuad Abiyad Media Channel. I'm joined by the Arnold Classic 2023 winner, Samson Dauda. How are you? Hey, hey, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. How's it going, how's it going? We are excited. The season is on its way. Detroit Pro is coming up. That's what we're going to discuss today. But just quickly, how excited are you for this Short oh, off season you're gonna have not for you for oh, you man. for your oh, short for off season, dude. Dude, I am definitely looking forward to this, man. Being on prep for so goddamn long, I wonder. I forgot what it was like to actually just you know chill out and eat food and relax, man. Mm. And now that I'm doing this, uh, yeah, it feels really good to take some time, time, man, and to have a break. Just quickly after the Arnold, there was so much talk coaching and this and that how was yeah. it to be able to just drive around europe alone without ah. checking instagram and this and that oh and just enjoy your car and the food it, it was amazing and it was needed it felt like you had to do that to recharge your batteries and sort of like yeah remember that there's a world there's a world outside all this and there's a world out there that requires living and this was definitely it was definitely that, and I really loved it. I really loved it. It was so, so much fun. Mm. And you were just at guest posting. You were in where were you? You were in Germany, Munich, Munich. So yeah, for just yeah, it was just last weekend, the weekend before. Yeah, guest posting in Munich, German bodybuilding man. It's uh, oh, it's, it's on the rise. That's for sure. Yeah, it's they definitely. have a lot. It was it was a I think it was a regional show, and if the the whole place was sold out. You had over what four hundred athletes all registered to compete. Mm -hmm. It was insane, you know. And uh, yeah, it was definitely one to see and see to see that and see how the sport is growing over there. It was definitely wow. It was it was nice to see. Quickly before we talk about Detroit Pro, that's what we're going to talk about. But Tony yes. Burton, Tony Burton, he was the oh, yeah. most. What do they say? The most in condition. He was a little bit small, shorter than Rafael, but he was complete yeah. back to four detail everywhere. Rafael was maybe not as good as Ohio. I'm not sure, yeah. but he was the taller, the more aesthetic man, and they gave it to yeah. him, Samson. Uh, yeah. We've seen the battles with you and Hardy there. It, it could have went either way. How was this I for know. you? I mean, for me, you know, obviously I agree with the judge's call, man, because at the end of the day, you know, yeah, he could have said, okay, Rafael Wagner has his best look that we've seen compared to Ohio, but I think he still had enough to, on the table to solve, kind of clinch the win on this one. And don't get me wrong, man, Antonio Bethel was a big, big competitor and he was really good. And You know, if he had gone the other way, I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have minded. I wouldn't have even think, okay, anything about it. I'm like, yeah, I get it. So it was one of them shows where, for everybody's strength, there's another person's weakness. For one person's weakness, there's another person's strength. So mm. for it to have gone the way it did, if it had gone one way or the other, I would have completely agreed with it. Detroit Pro, as a gentleman who knows Paul, Ben Chow, yeah. and Fuad very well, as you do, when did Fuad yes. first start to, to talk to you about he wanted to put on a bodybuilding show? Oh, uh, this time last year, because I remember we were about this time last year, we were heading off to New York. For some for the New York Pro and everything else around that period of time, and he was saying, "Yeah, he was planning on putting on a bodybuilding show for Open, and he wanted to make it a big show. He wanted to bring good prize money and make it a show and really treat the athletes and give them a show that is worthwhile and really worth competing in." And I thought, "Man, this is a freaking awesome idea! I think this is um this is what's needed. You know, another big show that has great prize money, great support, great following, great coverage." this is going to be a really big show and it'd be something that's really nice to see, especially coming from someone like him that can promote it quite well. Mm -hmm. I thought, yeah, this is definitely going to be one to see. Even I was like, 
man, if I'm not, if I'm free around that time and I wasn't competing, that would definitely be a show I would have done, you know. But then, yeah, so we knew it was coming. The news was out uh, last year, most open bodybuilding show, $10,000 for the winner, probably $5,000 for runner up. This yeah. show, $25,000. Thousand dollars and very, very three special awards. I don't know if this is talked so much about, but we have the John Meadows Award that's going to be wow. for the best condition, two thousand yeah, wow. five hundred dollars. And talk to us a little bit. Uh, did you ever? How long did you actually work with John Meadows before he? We worked. I think we started off. We worked just under a year together because we went through a whole off season together. And then we worked through pretty much a prep until we were eight weeks out. Mm. So we worked just under a year together before we obviously he passed away. But I think this was a great, great award to put up for his show. Mm. And, you know, fought very close to John. And I think this is definitely one that is like, you know, having that to represent and sort of give back to the athletes with that. I think that was a really good call. For people who remember Mr. John Meadows, his conditioning was insane. Great. I very remember back in the most development days, he was so popular, known for yeah. his condition that he was. Oh yeah, his condition. He beat a lot of. What can we say? Structurally, maybe more pleasing, but with his condition, correct? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, so it's only right to have an award dedicated to him for that. It's a, it's a good fit. It's a really good fit. Most muscular award guys. Obviously, the Luke Sandow award. Uh, oh, yeah. You can yourself, Luke Sandow. Yeah. He packed a yeah. lot of muscle on the five, five, seven, five, six, seven frame. Yeah, five, yeah. Seven, five, eight frame. Yeah, a lot of muscle. Man, that is another one. That's a big award, right? That's I mean, a big award. About the, only, the only shows that give awards out for things like that is the Arnold. Mm. You know, Arnold or High. They're the one that give best posing award and most muscular award. So to have other shows, or a pro, or a Olympia qualifying shows do that like this, it's a big thing, man. This is really good. This is this is what we talk about, you know, growing the sport of bodybuilding. Mm -hmm. This is what we talk about, you know, rewarding the athletes. So even though you don't get the win, or you don't you don't get the place you require, if you can win one of those awards, you still leave there feeling good about something. You know, you still leave there feeling positive about, yeah, your your hard work has been recognized. You and know. I think it's very so, nice with Mr. Ben Chow, who came up in the league, well, in the world of bodybuilding, probably with like Luke Sandow. He was one of his, yes. he was probably his closest friend and help, and they were always together. So this is probably a special award for Ben, obviously putting this on. And last but certainly not least, the best posting award by the great. It's called the Cedric McMillan Award, and it couldn't. Oh yeah, damn. That's obviously so, a very fitting award, correct, Samson, for the name I know, Cedric McMillan? I know, man. I mean, if you think about it, all three late, um, late great bodybuilders mm -hmm. all have an award dedicated from them to the athletes. And, you know, you got to understand, winning one what of what those awards what it actually means is not just the pride of winning it. It's who, what it represents and who it's, who it represented from. And I think this is a, it's really a really good thing for the sport. And I think this is, this is really, like, it's really nice. It's something that is, like, you take pride in. And, you know, hopefully, you know, we really get to see that sort of promoting the sport and grow even further from where it is now. This is a real fan favorite awards, these top three awards. And uh, yeah. let's take a look at the list. Sadly, yes. six guys are in. We're <sighs> going to talk a little bit at the end what we think about that. But let's start with yeah. the positive. Martin Fitzwater. Last yes, show, 2022, back. Arnold Classic UK. You were Classic. there front row. Yes. I was there from Raw watching it. Martin really brought it that show, man. He was really impressive. I remember even after the show, I went to talk to him. I told him, bro, man, you really impressed and you really killed that show. You know, he I, maybe he might have not feel so happy with his placing. And even I myself would have had him placing higher that show. But, you know, I said, bro, oh, you, look. So you would have had, you would have him beating I would have had him placing higher. Yeah. Honestly, that show, I would have. <laughs> I would have. I would, yeah. have, would have because I was sitting there from row. I saw what he brought to the brought across the stage, and I was so blown away by it. I was like, "Wow, this guy's a massive threat," you know. So I would definitely would have had him place higher. And you know, I remember after the show, you know, he he probably felt he feel so good about it and everything. I said, "Dude, keep your head up because what you've just done there, what you brought was such an impressive package." And you know what? It can only go from there. And I know he's taking the time off since then to improve, and I'm hoping that he brings just as good or better package to this stage because I think if he does, 
it'll be a really big threat for win for this show. So since then, that's like a year and a half ago, I've kept in good touch with Martin Fitzwater. Since then, he has added around 10 pounds, he said, of stage muscle. Uh, oh. Martin is always in condition. Uh, so I don't think that will just be weight. I think it will actually be legit muscle. He's young, got great genetics. He switched oh. up with a uh, new coach. His name is Boss Outlaw Stefan. Who oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know about him. success oh. with Wesley Wizards right now. Yeah. And yep. uh, so he has a new approach to things. He said he's learning new things. They're learning each other. And he's also moved to Brett Wilkin. Uh, you know Brett Wilkins? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. So they training. are training yeah. together yeah. for this yeah. show, Samson. And that's, I mean, when two bodybuilders get together to push one another, it can only be a good result come out of it, right? Because we don't, we don't only just push each other; we give each other a harsh critique as well, mm. and make sure to try to get the next man better. So I think this was a good move for him, and I think yeah, we're gonna see something special from him. I predict something special. We've seen pictures; he looks very aesthetic, but also with the added size, conditioning is there. Yeah. But Samson, we have mm -hmm. had Insta YouTube guys with tons of hype coming in. Uh, Andrew Jack, if you remember. Uh, success, yep, yep. Crystal, yep. huge success, yep. and yep. Godvito, the last on that list. Yep. And Samson, in my opinion, he delivered in Brazil. He, he did deliver in Brazil. You know, he, he came out top three in your first pro show, and especially being an honor show as well. That's really, really great success. And the fact that he's coming now to do this show, I think that was a very, very good move on him. You know, because especially coming off the top three finish in Brazil and having a such a big statement he put out there to come to this show now i think yeah this is a point where you can really secure that that statement and really show up on the american stage and really show that yeah you're you are you are this is you're not just one damn thing you're here to stay and you're going to make a big statement in the u.s stage and you know what if he gets the win at this show and goes straight to punch his ticket to the olympia that is uh that is definitely one hell of a pro debut you know within two two weeks good veto what i liked about him in brazil he wasn't afraid to show his physique off. You saw in the press conference. Yep. He has a yep. lot of confidence. Uh, his front double is probably one of... It's hard to say. Yeah. Not the, his very good front double. Very good front yeah. From the back, his hamstrings, his legs the size of a horse. Yeah. It's yep. Yep. truly it's something crazy. special. Uh, yep. That glass spread is ridiculously crazy. He, you know, he has yeah. 10 pounds more. Well, he weighs 10 pounds more than Tony Burton and he's shorter or the same height. Yeah. Wow. That's a lot wow. of that's, size. That's a lot of muscle. That's a lot of muscle in the frame. 27 year old uh, guy. Yeah, and wow. when he yeah. when he lost or got third, you could see his eyes. He was not happy. So he's a hungry yeah. guy. He is hungry. And I think, you know, being able to sort of come dust yourself up of that. And jumping in next show in the lineup is is a telling of character. Mm. You know, some guys, you know, when they don't get a show, they don't get a place they want at a show mm. or they expect it, they tend to just kind of like get very down about it and then they disappear and they, you know, they go off and they beat themselves up for it for months and months on end. Mm. And, you know, it doesn't reflect badly. It just doesn't reflect much on them because they all they're going to do is sit there and pick on all the reasons of what happened, what didn't happen or why didn't it happen. But the fact that you could pick yourself up, dust yourself up very quickly and jump into the next show, that's a real strength of character there. That's something to say, look, they're not going to keep you down for much longer. You can pick yourself up after every knockback. And I think this is some test telling from him. Last guy we're going to debate, well, talk a little bit more about that is Justin Rodriguez. He was, yes. prepped, he was prepped by Abdullah for the Arnold Classic. Mm -hmm. He did not he 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 had low fat fat percentage, but he didn't. Peak. Oh, yeah. Is this correct? Yeah, I think mm -hmm. it's something that's uh, just. I think something Justin struggled with because all I know is I remember what in twenty twenty two Arnold Classic or Highway he managed to nail his peak, and I know how dangerous Justin is when he does that. The shoulders and, how, and how, the whiff. Oh my god! Oh my god! The, the whiff, the condition he brought into that show was frightening, and then he came in a week later in Boston. And he brought that same yeah. position and everything. 2022, and plays, yeah. I think plays, yeah. and I think he was second at that show next to Correct. the Bonite. The ball was such a big threat. So you know it's in him to bring a dangerous packet, mm -hmm. package. He's really right there in him. And I think he's just trying to 
master that combination of bringing in that perfect look each time. And I think, you know, if he brings it out to this show, then I don't think there's much more much of the other guys can do about it. Hmm. So I think this is what, you know, people would like you're to saying, keep... Samson, So you're saying a peak Justin would beat yeah. up Martin that we've saw before before and yeah. Good what Vito. we saw before, yes. And good Vito. Yes, I think so. Okay. I think so. A big Justin could do that because he's so thick from the side, he's so wide from the back. His front double is pretty much ridiculous. You know, he's got really, really strong poses. And I think once he picks it right, it's um it's a very, very big threat. And I know in this sport, people would like to write people out after they haven't picked for perfectly for like one or two shows. They try to say, Oh, they're not gonna I'm like look, it's never that easy. And when they do do it, it's it's freaking crazy. But you so this but, one But you gotta understand some of the fans also though. It's been a lot of times where he has not peaked though. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Because remember, it's not that easy to learn about your body. It's not that easy to get it, especially when you're not doing multiple shows over and over. You're not getting a lot of opportunity to learn that. So you got to understand that for guys to keep obviously trying different things and trying different coaches, it's not because they just not they don't want to do, they're not bothered or whatever, they're not trying. It's because they're trying to figure it out. And, you know, for people to feel like, oh, man, a lot of times the guy never picks it right. I'm like, there's so many thousands of people in this world that have tried to lose weight and done all fat diets for the last for all their life, and they haven't managed to lose two pounds. Mm. But do you stop trying? Mm. No. So the same thing with bodybuilding. It's not that easy to peak perfectly and master it over and over again. So when them guys are doing that's what they're trying to do. I talked to his new coach, Justin Jacoby. He's, part, he was, he's learned a lot from he was. Matt Jansen's team. Uh, he has yeah. had he had Tonio Burton, and it looked like Tonio's Burton best ever. We saw Brazil. And oh, now he yeah. has Justin. I spoke to him and he said some of the same things you said. He said Justin is a very hard body to peak. Yeah. yeah. And he flattens out. And when he flattens out, it's not the same. So we he's been reverse dieting since the Arnold. And he's yeah. gonna come in, try to get him full. Uh, as you see him in the pictures after training, because yeah. that's that's when he gets the pop and the detail. Yeah, and that's what I they're going to try to do for this Detroit Pro. I mean, whatever they do, try as long as they keep open, being open minded to try different things, and eventually you will find that eureka moment where you nail it. And this is what people need to understand with these guys: is they're constantly trying to improve, they're constantly trying to be at their best, they're constantly trying to get better. Just because they haven't done it yet or they haven't done re repetitively yet. It just mm. means they just have a harder body to figure it out, a harder thing that they got to figure out. But once they do, that's it. You know, now it's like, okay, it's clockwork. So most likely this will be the top three guys. Mm -hmm. And in your opinion, any one of those three can win, can correct? Win oh yeah. Almost very, very easily any one of them can win. I agree. I think anyone, three of them could win. Personally, it's because I've known Martin Fitzwater well. So I've seen yeah. the, the hunger. That's why yep. I predict him to win. But obviously, this could go. Uh, I mean, you got to remember every single guy, there's, I don't think there's a pro at this level that's not hungry. I will, well, some people, so, yeah, nobody, yeah, yeah. I can tell you now, you don't go through, you don't go through months and months of prep and suffer if you're not hungry mm. so when people say oh he's more hungry i'm like no they're all freaking hungry you live in look what happens when you compete with pros you're in a tank full of sharks every single person remember one good show can change your life yeah this definitely. is all especially a show like this one good show changes your life so do you think they're not hungry for that everybody's hungry everybody's rootlessly want that place they want that way especially a show like this way so close between top guys yeah they're all freaking hungry for it so I think this one is just a case of who's mastered enough to bring it on that day. And it could be anybody. It could be some people might blow it. Some people might get, get it nearly right. But then, you know, that's just what it comes down to. We have the pro debut of a Gabriel. Gary FB. I'm sorry for pronouncing wrong. Yeah. Pro debut from Canada. Shorter guy. Thick as a house. Yeah. Crazy legs. We'll see how he stacks up. Ronald Gordon. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is a big, freaky... Do you, you know who it is? Yeah. I think I do. I think I know the uh, guy you're talking about. Uh, he was with, Abdu he's, he's with Abdullah. He's trained by um, Psycho Fitness. 
All right, yeah, I know who you're talking and about. He yeah. has crazy arms, yeah. delts, specs. He yeah. just hasn't yeah. nailed it yet. Yeah, and I think this is another thing where I said, like, look, you could have somebody come out and shock everybody. You could have the guys that are already there just hit it right. And the same thing, you know, it could go vice versa. So it's it makes for a good show. It makes for a good weekend of bodybuilding. I'm going to be there front row and center eating my po popcorn and watching that show, watching the battle go down. And I think with this kind of prize money and award set out for the winner, this is this is exciting. This is exciting to see. Harry Harris from the UK. He's oh, prepped yeah. by Martin Winston, who is... Did you see, by the way, the Bavarian Bull? No, you didn't see him. The new pro he has that won him. the pro court at the Ben Weeder. Uh, I did see him. I George. did see him. I saw him, I saw him in Germany. I think. What do you think about him? Team. I think, you know, uh, he's another one with a big, big potential. Yeah. He didn't, I know that he didn't fight nearly in Germany, and he no. came second just because of that spot. But I think he came over to the UK, and he looked a lot better, and he nailed it there. And I'm hoping that he's coming to do this show because it'll be the smartest thing he's ever done. Because the only the only one he spoke at last weekend. And I think instead of, you know, the idea of, okay, I'm going to take another year off and try to improve. Look, jump in there, jump in the shark tank, and let's see how you get on before you take some time off. Have a taste of that. Okay, see what it feels like standing with the big boys. And then go off and go, okay, right, now you know what you need to improve after you've had it. Had I a, wish you were his mentor because he told me just now, sorry, I'm going back in 2025. I have to put on size. But oh, the, the, oh. <laughs> the guy we were supposed to talk about is Harry Harris Harry. from the UK. Another one. Yep, Beautiful I know Harry shape. Harris. He's in. Beautiful shape, great conditioning. You know, I remember he won his pro card back in, um, is it 2019? 20, 2019, yeah. Because he won his pro card at the same time Rob Taylor. I think it was on the same show. And uh, yeah, man, another one, you know, beautiful shape, beautiful detail. I'm hoping that he's put on more muscle because I think that was one of his things from there that he needed just more muscle. So I'm hoping through then him having a time off, he's managed to do a lot of that and come back to stage here because he's another one that with his shape and structure, and a bit more muscle, he's going to be a big threat. I'm, I'm going to put in the newest pictures I got from him. They're probably one week old. You can, guys can see it here. It's beautiful lines. Crazy. He, he placed six out of 13 in Italy in 2022. Uh -huh. And since uh -huh. then, he's... That's, seen... that's, that's, that's no pushover. That is definitely a great place to be. Yeah. Wow. So he's put on some size since then, he said. And he's happy to come to this show. And his goal is to win the most conditioned award, uh, John Meadows award. So we I will agree. see. Uh, your winner, this is not really, it's don't kill yeah. us. If you have to choose the winner and if, and, and the awards, who's the winner? Damn. Um, this one is a tough one because it's definitely who to, who would I go with? Um, this is basically going by experience only from what I've seen from their last show. Okay. Okay. I could be completely wrong. Don't yep. don't quote me. Be completely wrong. If Martin Fitzwater shows up like he did, or with a little bit more, even if he shows up like he did at Arnold 2022, mm -hmm. because I was front row at center and I saw him that place. I was so blown away by it. If he shows up like that, then yeah, I'll have Martin winning. Most conditioned. Most conditioned, I mean, hell, from what we saw from Good Video last weekend, that was uh, that was gnarly. That was very, very gnarly. So, uh, yeah, I, I would have to go with like, yeah, I would, I would say Good Video probably would take for most condition. Most po best posting. That's gonna be hard because I don't know. That's gonna be hard. That's gonna be hard. I think. Oof, I don't. That's gonna be hard. Yeah, that was gonna be a hard one. That's gonna be a hard one. I, I'm already sure. Gotta pick I'm, one. I gotta pick one. I'm. Damn. Damn, I'm, I really don't know. This one, I'm, I haven't really seen the guys compete <laughs> we, recently. We I'm on the recent probably I haven't really seen them. Ah, it's been, it's been, it's been you. It's, it's been, been a been, while. Um, it's been a long while name? since I've seen them. <laughs> and I'm hoping, I'm hoping that they they prove me wrong and they come up there and they show us something. But I haven't seen, I haven't seen them recently. Obviously, put us put something together. I can remember off the top of my head. Oh. But yeah, I mean. Whew. That, that, it's that, not that, like that, a routine at the Arnold Classic UK, that's for sure. Uh, it's you know, I'm, so I mean, even the idea of just being able to go from pose to pose, I haven't seen them sort of oh. show that up. With, oh. So oh. I really, that one is very hard for me. Most muscular. Oh, I got to This up. one, I think, I think uh, I have to go with Justin for this one. I think Justin will have. He's got the biggest frame there. 
mm. between the top three guys, you know, Goodvito, um, what is, uh, what's his name? With the top three of them, Goodvito, uh, Martin, and Justin, which I, I'm having them close to be my top three. Mm-hmm. I think he's the he's 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 definitely the biggest frame guy there, and he's packed his frame with a lot of muscle. So I think that you know that would, that would probably go to him. Uh, I got Martin Fitzwater winning. I got most muscular Luke Samba award. I've got Goodvito. I got best poster. Martin and I got best condition Martin and that's why he's going to win and good video is going to get pissed. <laughs> <laughs> that's my that's my prediction. Yeah, that's your prediction. Yeah, uh, I think prediction. this one. I really do. I do think you know, especially this award. I don't think that you get one person win two awards. Yes. I just, yes. You got it. You got I mean, it. Most muscular and conditioning one. I think yeah, you might have some person win that yeah. two awards. Mm-hmm. But I also think that. It might it might be a touch and go one with that with that you know, mm. but then yeah. this is is exciting. Man. This is what makes it exciting because you see having these little treat awards there gives us more things to talk about, more things to sort so sort of think about. So you're not just talking about okay now who's going to win and who's not going to win and who's going to place where, but now you talk about okay they might not win this but they could win that. And I think this is what makes body be interesting. And this is why you say this hot spot should grow. Fans that are watching this show. Please leave your comments. Who do you think is going to win all these awards? The stream link will be in this show. Get the stream. If you are close to Detroit, get the tickets. Sam Sulek, Samson, Ian, yeah. Paul, Ben, Fuad himself, all the guys. And, yeah. and before we go, Samson, you're going to announce yeah. who is your new coach. I'm just... <laughs> 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 when I know you know. Trust me. When oh. I know you guys will. You, For sure. So, so you... you <laughs> You, this is not something you've been thinking about. You've been you've been oh, having off season. I've been, having a, I've been having break, man. I've been look as much as it is. You know, I've been completely invested in this sport for the last six months without mm-hmm. any break whatsoever, mm-hmm. and not just physically but mentally as well. So for me, it's like, look, I need a few weeks of just complete downtime, not thinking about so much about what we have to do next and what bodybuilding is about, and just have a time off so I can enjoy being back at it again. Mm-hmm. And then once we're back at it, we're gonna sit down and we're gonna say, okay, right. What do we want to do? Go forward. And for people who are afraid of you eating all that pasta, we we saw oh. your body two days ago, and oh yeah, not not much has changed. <laughs> I mean, not this much is the thing, man. There's not much fat put on there, especially oh. you know. This is what happens, man. When you spend all that time in the gym, you have you can't you gotta let your hair down. Don't be so afraid of putting on a bit of fat and just letting yourself go. It does. You're not gonna blow out and turn to Miss Doubtfire over a week. No, so, no. you know, that, but that rest can do your body a big word of good. All those injuries, all those joints beating up can definitely help. Uh, uh, before, absolutely, we got to go. I got to ask you last thing. Six yeah. guys in, people, the guys are complaining that there's no pro shows, that there's no prize money, uh, that we don't have a black uh, background. Now we have tons of guys uh, who are even in shape, uh, who just did shows, who I don't believe uh, this will be their chance to make the Olympia. And they're not you, in any opinion on it as a pro, as a this, professional. This is as for me, you know, this is why I find it so disappointing because for years we are banging on about we need to increase the prize money, we got to make the show better, we got to brew a bodybuilding, we got to do all that. And for years we've been going on and on and on about it. And then for once, the promoters are now stepping up. Mm-hmm. They're increasing the prize money for every single show, they're improving yeah. every single aspect of it, they're giving us what we asked for so long. But then we as pros are not stepping up to do a show, especially when you're already in shape. Come on now. Because we can, if we don't step up now and then next year the show comes around again and the promoters go, okay, no, we're going to go back to the same prize money as it was because it's not valuable for us because we're not making our money back. We can then complain and say, oh, they're not trying to build a sport because they gave us a chance and we did not take advantage of it. So please, I just want to speak out to all the pros out there. Look, just step up. Step up. If you know you're going to do this, step up. There's no harm in it. You want to see this sport grow. You want to see it get better year to year. You want to make be able to make a good living from it. You have to be willing to show that chance, take that chance and step up and get on that stage, especially when you're in shape. You know you got to qualify for the Olympia. You know you got to do this anyway. So, look, it's right there. Look, I mean, 25 grand? Mm-hmm. I know, I can tell you now, I know anybody watching this this right here, this interview right here, if they had the opportunity to, to win 25 grand from going through a prep, they will jump at the chance of it. So we are here in this opportunity to be able to do it. Come on, man, guys, you got to step up. If we want to grow the sport, we have to step up. If we don't, then it will never get better. It will just go backwards. 
And thanks for Fuad, Paul, and Ben to actually stepping up and putting the money in. Thank them very much. And you see now, we're seeing that triple down. The New York Pro's money go up. All the other shows have gone up. Promoters are now stepping things up for us to get us to compete more, to get more top names on the show. But if we don't reciprocate by actually showing our gratitude and actually stepping up and doing it for the fans and doing it for the pride of it, then why should they carry on trying to make it better for us? They'll be like, well, we tried it. You guys didn't step up. We didn't get any change. So next year, we're just going to go back to what we were doing. Thank you very much for your time. And good luck with the the, the flights to America. And you when you much. become Mr. Olympia, I hope you will keep with, up with all the guest posting and traveling. I hope that will not stop once you win. Oh, it will never, I've never stopped, man. This is the sport I signed up for. It's part of the deal. And I'm really keen and happy to keep doing that. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.